the Cox Plate is next one Australia's biggest handicaps this is a group one 10 furlongs and at the top catch me white boy for Derek Hinton Ford versus Ferrari Dan Hughes Grand Forks Great Vinnie Gerard it's Passion Not Profit Leon Van Rensburg Monterey Cool Vinnie Gerard Humid Rarity Darren Thompson Niggle Harriet James Shea Organised State Leon Van Rensburg Patterson's Return James Shea Sadafia Stopper for David Robertson Chaldean Dan Hughes, time to play the game. Joshua Sutherland and Munas has got the bottom two. Fine purple hero and morning ice hero. Nice to see Munas back for a few weeks away. And they're installed and ready to go. And away they go. And organised state and morning ice hero are the first two to show. Time to play the game is after that. Then Ford versus Ferrari is next. Towards the back of the field, Santa Fe Stopper is the back marker. But it's Morning Ice Hero who's now gone three to four clear from Chaldean in second. Then comes Organised State and Catch Me White Boy. Ford versus Ferrari is next. And then it's Passion Not Profit really wide on the track. The two of James Shea's horses are the back two, as you would expect. Niggle Harriet and Patterson's return. And it's Morning Ice Hero who's got the lead from Catch Me White Boy. is about four lengths down in second. Chaldean is third. On the inside of that one is Organised State. Then comes Ford versus Ferrari. With on that one's outside, it's Passion, not Profit. And then after that one is Grand Forks Hero. Fine Purple Hero is also there as well. Looking towards the back now, Sadafire Stopper is the back marker. So they're coming down towards the final five. And Morning Ice Hero is clearing the lead from Organised State in second. Then Catch Me White Boy and Cal. Then Fine Purple Hero is on the inside of Grand Forks. Great and then time to play the game. Humid Rarity Sadafire Stopper is creeping through very nicely. Indeed, the second of the Munas horses there. Fine Purple Hero has now burst through to join his stable mate, but up the centre of the track, Human Rarity and Caldean are starting to go. Catch me, White Boy is still there. Organised State being pushed along. One's got nowhere to go. He's sat a fire stopper, but it's Morning Ice Hero with two and a half furlongs still to go. Morning Ice Hero, Fine Purple Hero, then Santa Fe a stopper and Catch me, White Boy. Organised State is next. Caldean's lost its place. Wide on the track, Organised State and Grand Forks. Great time to play the game. Hasn't got into it yet. The two James Shea horses start to try and make some ground with Patterson's Patterson's return's got a lot of horses in front of him. The one that's coming through there nicely is Niggle Harriet. They're inside the final half furlong there, and it's Fine Purple Hero from Niggle Harriet and Santa Fire Stopper. Fine Purple Hero's in the lead, but hold it on, but here comes Niggle Harriet. Oh, it's close. And Niggle Harriet's been the bridesmaid so many times this season. It would be nice if she got up and won it, but it would also be nice if Munas got himself a big race win after being away for a couple of weeks. It's close. Looks like Fine Purple Hero's taking it. It has indeed Fine Purple Hero for Munas. The three-year-old filly takes it. Niggle Harriet for James Shea. So unlucky all season. Finishing behind Patterson's return. Usually beat Patterson's return easily today, but still found one too good. Santa Fe stopper for David Robertson was third. Patterson's return, James Shea was fourth. And Grand Forks great for Vinnie Gerrard was back in fifth.